Okay, hopefully this comes out well. So this is my updated 2.0 PSK, or personal survival kit. So I've got my water purification tablets, still the same ones. I do have plans of upgrading those to chlorine tablets because these are iodine. But I do have plans of upgrading those to chlorine tablets, as I just stated. I have uh, this folding knife. It's not a locking folding knife. I do have plans of when I have more money of buying a new knife to put in here, to, specifically for this kit. It, a, a one with a lock, but for the time being, this will do. I obviously have the same old great button compass. These button compasses, I don't know who made them, but they were free. It was like a free gift. And it's just meant for like a zip pull. But putting them inside little kits like this, they're just fucking great compasses. Excuse the language. Full gas brand new cigarette lighter. That has not been f flicked, you know, not even been flicked to test it. But I know these work. It's a big cigarette lighter. Nothing fancy. Uh, I got my ferro rod. I still have a first aid kit. But I've changed up the water bag up in there, as you can see. It's a big Ziploc. One of these tablets plus that Ziploc worth of water, of dirty water, will make pure, you know, make purified water. And I still have a Mylar and I have emergency blanket. And I also have my Hoochie cord. Hoochie cord is Australian version of Bankline. And it can be found at most army disposal stores for relatively cheap. So this is not really set up for anything too cold. Like, you know, the shelter's a little bit lacking for colder environments. I do have to admit that. But for the summertime, currently in Australia, it's more than enough. And as you can see, I'm removed the glow stick. I do have plans of putting a flashlight maybe in here if I want to take up a bit of extra space, but really a torch in a survival situation can be useful, yes, same with glow sticks, but that's the reason I have a glow stick in here. I don't have the glow stick in here anymore as it takes up too much space. And also I just decided to get rid of it because it wasn't really serving a functional purpose in the kit. It was just kind of there for aesthetics really. Because I really probably would have only used it for signalling. But I have other means of signalling that I can put in here. Yeah. And I also have this big ass silver item. Which if you put it out in an area like this area here in my backyard. A clearing basically. Basically you would have enough signalling from that um, emergency blanket. To be able to signal a plane or something. So I do have a means of signalling in the form of a giant reflective surface. I do have plans to purchase a signal mirror to put in here. I just don't have the money to purchase a signal mirror. Same with the same with the locking knife. I will purchase better a better knife and a signal mirror. And probably some better tablets as these are quite hard to pack in here. Can you? But the reason I chose the smallest Maxpedition pouch they make, which is the Micro, I think it is. Don't quote me on that. The reason I chose the smallest one they make is for the very specific reason that this will fit in my jeans pocket. It'll fit in my jeans pocket, it'll fit in my it'll even fit in my jacket pocket, you know, it'll fit in most of my clothes pockets. And that re that reason alone is reason enough to have this kit. Because it's so small and compact where it will fit in your pocket. Okay. It's not so much about the gear you have in your kit, it's more the do you have that kit on you? Because you could have the best gear in the world, the most high quality gear in the world, and not have it on you and then it's no basically no good so if you can fit it in a pocket okay and you want and you carry it on you every single day like every single day i go outside the house this is either in my pocket or in my bag just depending on where i am so that way i always know that i have 
my survival kit on me. And that way I know that I... So, yeah, I just said that. I was about to repeat myself. Um, but, yeah, so it's a relatively small, compact kit. It's a great little kit. And I really enjoy using it. And, um, yeah. yeah. I have a review on the pouch coming out soon. And I have another kit I want to show you. I might get that video made today. So, this is my 2.0 PSK 2020 edition still.